Hello everyone. Our friend is perching on the uh, thing that sticks out there, the brace or whatever. Our hawk's up there today. It's overcast today. And it looks like it's gonna rain again. So we'll see what happens. Welcome to morning devotions at the Garden of Hope, everyone. It's not as hot though with it being overcast. Right now anyway. I've already been up for quite a while. Woke up about six, I guess. Laid there till about something to seven um, on our prayer request today now let's pray for Sarah that no tumors grow in her throat and um, Paisy Rose's husband was laid off three weeks ago pray he finds a job Tumbleweed's son Ryan has an unspoken request Phyllis Stokes her husband Mr. Bucky passed away July 7th and she also has to go through chemo. Renee Davis needs prayers for her depression. She also has many health problems and financial trouble. <clears throat> David's mother Henny is doing better now. She's going to follow a healthy diet. Lori Lee has an unspoken request Following, following God, she needs prayers for protection and God to intervene. Her friend Larissa needs prayer for health problems. Her family needs prayer for their salvation. Karina's stepmother passed away, y'all, um, and she's very upset. And I don't, you know, everybody would be, anybody would be. Her sister Marlene and the Gomez family all need prayer. Sherm, his surgery went well. He goes to the doctor the 24th to have some stitches removed, and then he will have therapy. It will take uh, six weeks to recover before therapy. Brenda Richardson, new meds may be helping. She will send an update in a few days. Tweets for her, grand, for her grandson for his health and anxiety, and for her daughter's vertigo and the nerves in her hand. Our Bible reading today comes from John 14, 1 through 14. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My Father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, I would have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really know me, you will know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus answered, Don't you know me, Philip, even after I have been among you such a long time? Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and that the Father is in me? The words I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority. Rather, it is the Father living in me who is doing his work. Believe me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or at least believe on the evidence of the works themselves. Very truly, I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing and they will do even greater things than these because I am going to, going to the Father. And I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. Amen. And that's what we do with the prayer list. 
Okay, our devotion is entitled Home Sweet Home. Why do we have to leave our home and move? My son asked. It's difficult to explain what a home is, especially to a five-year-old. We were leaving home where is where our loved ones, we were leaving a house, but not our home, in the sense that home is where our loved ones are. It's the place where we long to return after a long trip or after a full day's work. When Jesus was in the upper room just hours before he died, he told his disciples, do not let your hearts be troubled. The disciples were uncertain of their future because Jesus had predicted his death. But Jesus reassured them of his presence and reminded them that they would see him again. He told them, my father's house has many rooms. I am going there to prepare a place for you. He could have used other words to describe heaven. However, he chose words to, that describe not an uncomfortable or unfamiliar place, but a place where Jesus, our loved one, would be. C.S. Lewis wrote, Our Father refreshes us on the journey with some pleasant ends, but will not encourage us to mistake them for home. We can thank God for the pleasant ends in life, but let's remember that our real home is in heaven where we will be with the Lord forever. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I want to pray for everybody on the prayer list today. And I want to thank you for the, for the ones that, like Sherm that went through his surgery and he's okay and it'll make him better. You know, in the long run, it'll, it'll be a lot better for him. And he won't have all that pain. And Lord, help all the others that, that are having things going on too. And you know, deaths in the family and everything like that. and. Uh, Help, help the one find a job. Please, Lord, help all of them. In the Lord's name I pray, amen. Hope y'all enjoyed this morning's devotions at the Garden of Hope. Please press that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I'll see y'all after a while. Have a good one.